me mateys um, making this video to sort of show off my new operating system that I got I switched from Windows I was having this really annoying problem with Windows 8 where it was telling me to um, to activate it it wasn't activated anymore for some reason and when I would click on the little button to activate it it would say it can't activate now and then something about the KMS thing and I tried a few solutions that were suggested on various uh, message boards and um, pardon the beeps um, people are sending me messages anyway so <clears throat> yeah uh, the last thing I tried was a total reinstall of Windows 8 and um, lo and behold it did not work it still wouldn't activate. Um, I tried maybe downloading Windows 10, doing the update. Uh, nope, uh, Windows 10 wouldn't install without Windows 8 being activated. So I was screwed there too. Although in a way, maybe I was screwed in a good way because I've heard I've heard lots of bad stuff about Windows 10. Though I do have Windows 10 on um, on a tablet, but oh well. <clears throat> um, so I switched, I, I watched a bunch of videos on Linux and um, I've used um, Ubuntu, a few versions of it um, a few years ago, but I kept hearing about how uh, Linux Mint is really good and it was a lot, uh, the interface here as you can see is a lot closer to what you will get on Windows, except it's got some major improvements. It's got an actual start menu without all their stupid stuff and here we have all these different um, categories so you know oh, I need a graphics thing oh there's GIMP and it comes with a lot of stuff and most of the software you get for it is free and it's awesome and um, yeah I was using um, a Lightroom and Photoshop uh, which are you know not free um, though not that expensive with the Creative Cloud but still uh, UF Raw pretty much does everything I needed. Um, uh, photo, uh, not Photoshop. Everything I needed Lightroom to do. Um, GIMP does everything that I needed Photoshop to do. And Inkscape is a free version of Illustrator. And yeah, it's got nice Thunderbird mail, which I was using before. Oh, uh, this is really cool. Uh, Bluefish, it's an HTML editor. Can see here. This is one of the pages of one of my personal, my personal website, um, and yeah, it's got all the very easy navigation and all that. That is, if you do this kind of thing, and yeah, it's really excellent. This right here is called Docky, so it's kind of like the little dock that you have on uh, on Apple on Macintosh computers. And then I got the Windows thing down here, so it's really the best of both worlds. So yeah, that's pretty excellent. So anyone out there, you if you're frustrated with Windows and you can't afford a Mac, I sure I certainly can't. Um, check out Linux; it's really good. Um, it's good for running on. Um, they say it's good for running on a low-end computer. This uh, computer here is actually quite high-end. It was. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, a two terabyte hard drive. It was like $900. Yeah, a very nice computer. So yeah, it works well on nice computers too. So there we go. All right. Check you later. Oh, whoops. I need to do that. There we go. Now I'll check you later.